guys in this pipe wise assembly today we are going to see how to make this assembly for that first open katiya then go on start then mechanical design and here assembly design now on this interference we have to import something so first go on this existing component and then click on product now from here you have to first import base so open it in katiya now after that go on this manipulation command and select any from here and just move this from one place to another place so it when you will bring next component inside the katiya it will not interlinked with each other after that here is the fixed component select this component and now it's not able to move you can see so we uh, we uh, so we use this fixed component command now go on again existing component to bring next component after that click on product and now we are uh, taking inside movable jaw open it in katiya now we have to use this uh, coincide constraint so let's see the central axis of this hole should be coincide with central axis of the base so update it from here now we want uh, just a second guys take back once now we want to make this parallel to this side so after that here is the angle command angle constraint so this uh, plane should be uh, in parallel with this so write here as 180 or just 360 and update it from here now it is okay after that you can see it is okay now here is the manipulation command now manipulate using this manipulation command just move it from upside down somewhat now that is fixed so let's bring our next component inside it so after that go on existing component again then click on product command and now we are going to take a screw so this is screw and open it in katiya now first you have to use again this manipulation command to move it from upside down or just to rotate it after that here is the coincide constraint select central axis of the screw and central axis of the base and update it from here now after that uh, again use this manipulation command to bring it uh, bring it up so this is the z axis and i am bringing it upside after that click on okay now we have to select one thing that is first go on this uh, uh, contact constraint now this surface should be you can see this is the internal surface of the mm, movable screw should be in contact with uh, screw external surface of screw and it is surface contact and it is written here that is surface contact so click on okay and update it from here now uh, we have to do next thing just a second guys we have to take it up to upper side somewhat up not too much so here is again side component and click on okay and after that use this fix component to fix it and update it from here so this is how we have completed our this now we are going to bring handle so click again on existing component and then click on product now we have to use this handle so open it now use this co uh, coincide constraint select the central axis of the handle and now central hole uh, i mean hole of the um, uh, screw and then update it from here now one thing is remaining we have to give uh, dimensions so use this offset constraint now distance from this to the central uh, plane is given to us that is 172 divided by 2 172 divided by 2 and enter it now update it from here Mm, sorry it's taking 86 we have to take minus 86 it should be minus 86 and update it from here now on this interference now we have to take our next component inside 
so click on existing component and after that go on product now one thing is remaining handle screw then open it in Katia uh, now we have to use this coincide constraint so central axis of the handle and central axis of this uh, handle screw uh, and then update it from here now again one thing is remaining you have to take this offset constraint now it is given that external surface of the handle screw and the external surface of the handle distance between both of them is given as 10 but we are taking minus 10 because it is in reverse direction and enter it and update it from here this is how we have completed this now just go on this handle screw from tree diagram and then go on symmetry command select the central axis uh, I mean central plane and it is not taking I have selected wrong so again go on symmetry and this is the central axis and then click on ok I mean finish this is how we have completed our assembly thank you so much guys for watching this